Hello, algebra students. We're going to um, finish off 5 3 polynomial functions with part 2. And we're going to focus on the graphs of polynomial functions and um, just talk about those characteristics a little bit. So, graphs of polynomial functions. One thing we need to know is the maximum number um, of times the graph intersects the x-axis is the same as the degree of the polynomial, so the largest exponent. Um, so it can be less than the degree. It can hit the. It can have um, the x-intercepts. Can be less than the degree, but it can't be any more than. So here's a little visual for you. So a constant function, it never hits the x-axis, um, and there's no degree. Linear, the degree is 1, like y equals mx plus b. Quadratic, y equals x squared. It's going to hit it twice. Um, cubic, y equals x cubed. Quartic, um, x to the fourth. And quintic is x to the fifth. y equals x to the fifth. So I could hit it five times. Feel free to draw this in your notebook if you'd like. So let's talk about um, the behavior, the end behavior and um, of the graph. So the end behavior is the behavior of the graph of f of x as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so as x is getting bigger or negative infinity, so when x is getting very, very small. The degree and leading coefficient determine the end behavior of the graph and range of the function. So let's look at this one here. When the degree is even and the leading coefficient is positive, then as f of x gets bigger, as it approaches positive infinity, so it gets larger, um, as x is negative infinity, so as x gets smaller, f of x is still getting bigger. And um, as f of x approaches positive infinity, or f of x will approach positive infinity as x gets bigger and bigger as well. So notice they're in the same direction, each end behavior. So when it's odd and positive, the leading coefficient is positive, um, f of x will approach negative infinity as, so it's going, getting, it's getting smaller and smaller, going down as x approaches negative infinity. And as f of x is getting bigger and bigger, approaching that positive infinity, as x is um, approaching positive infinity as well. So the end behaviors are going in opposite directions. So negative infinity here, positive infinity here. So if the degree is even and the leading coefficient is negative, then f of x will approach negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. So as x is getting smaller, so is f of x. And as f of x is um, approaching negative infinity, as x is getting bigger as well. So again, in the same direction here. When the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is negative, excuse me, so if f of, as f of x approaches positive infinity as x is getting very, very small, approaches negative infinity. And f of x um, will approach negative infinity. It will get very, very small. Dive down here as x approaches positive infinity. So as it goes up, again, opposite directions. We know it's going to be odd, an odd degree. The number of real zeros of a polynomial function can be um, determined by examining its graph. So real zeros are x-intercepts, which we've already talked about in the last chapter. So odd degree functions will always have an odd number of real zeros. Even degree functions will always have an even number of real zeros or no real zeros at all. So here are some pictures for that. So here's no zeros. Won't hit it at all. Here's four zeros. 
Notice it's in the same direction. 100 degree, here we have three zeros. Again, the end behavior is in opposite directions. And here's just one zero. So for each graph, describe the end behavior. Determine whether it represents an odd degree or even degree, polynomial function, and state the number of real zeros. So as we're looking at A, let's look at the end behavior first. So f of x, as it approaches negative infinity. So here, as f of x approaches negative infinity, it's going down, down, down. When x is approaching negative infinity as well. And, sorry, my dog's on my lap. It's hard to write. Um, now let's look here. f of x is approaching negative infinity as well. It's going down, down, down. As x is, x is approaching positive infinity. So look here, the end behaviors are the same. So it's going to be, is that the second part? Um, it represents an even degree. And there are two real zeros. because we hit the x-axis twice. So now let's look at b. Alright, so here's f of x, here's our end behavior. So it looks like it's approaching positive infinity. So f of x approaches positive infinity as, and we're on the um, negative side of the x-axis, so as x approaches negative infinity, as x gets smaller and smaller this way, and f of x, the other one, is going down, so it looks like it approaches negative infinity as x approaches um, positive infinity here. So, because x is getting bigger to the right of zero. So it looks like since we're going in opposite directions here, we're going to have an odd degree. And how many zeros do we have? One, two, three, four four, five. We have five real zeros. Alrighty. So what I want you to do is go ahead and enter your answer in the Google form below. Describe the end behavior. And I don't know if you can use the infinity sign or not, but if you just want to write infinity, you can. So you can write positive infinity if you want or negative infinity if you want to abbreviate that way. So right below this video is a Google form. Go ahead and submit your answer there. All three parts. Alrighty? And that's how I'll tell if you watch the video or not. So let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you later.